Okay, now we are ready to actually run our program. Um, so we already have our cold air blast turned on. This is a manual switch up top until we get it wired into an M code. And so we'll walk you through loading the program in the machine. Uh, so what we got over here on the PC is here's our part. So what we're going to do is we're going to G-code this program. We'll call it part one underscore full because it's the entire program. It's going to G-code. If you want to rename this here, you, you know, th this comment shows up in the controller. We're going to do a save as. We're going to go save this to our removable disk. We're going to change this to all files. So it's part one full dot FNC and we're going to save it. Now, if you notice here, and this is something that happens in Windows, and I specifically wanted to show this, a lot of times it adds a .txt extension to it. So if you go and browse to your removable disk in Windows, you'll see here it put a .txt. I already did this before, so I'll delete this file here. And what you want to do is you got to make sure that that .txt did not get added to it. So, I mean, if you're using something like Simcoe or something like that, you know, you, won't, you generally won't see that, but... Notepad sometimes adds that .txt if it's not familiar with the extension in the controller or in the, in the PC. So we have our part one full.nc. I'm going to delete these other two programs real quick. So I will close this, pull out the USB. We're going to put it in the controller here. We're then going to go to auxiliary menu. We're going to go to Program Manager. We already have a couple programs in here, so I'm just going to say close, close all programs. That way it's like refresh. This is what you would generally see. We say open. We click on removable disk. We click on our part one pool. We say load. This is now loaded in. Um, if you're interested in doing a graphics check, you can do that by clicking the auxiliary menu. Um, if you have in your part setup, your stock geometry all defined, which I did. I defined a box and I set my size of my block at 3.7 by 3 by inch and a half. If you do that, when you click on the auxiliary menu, you can go graphics. You can say draw options and you can say draw. And what you can actually see here on the screen is you can now see the graphics that are integrated into the Herco controller that runs the NC file we G-coded with the tool. And what's nice about this is actually you can actually see the toolpath lines. You can get a feel for if the tool's going below a certain Z that you um, were expecting to. So here you can see, you know, it's now taking the, the deep depth of cut. You know, first it did it face the top. Now it's profiling around the outside of the block. And I'm not going to run through the full graphics here, but um, generally I recommend 100% running through the graphics on the controller because um, it works fantastic and you really get a, a good view of what's going to happen in the CNC. So at this point, I'm just going to pause it. And we are going to exit the simulation. And now we can go to our auxiliary menu. Um, so we are already, we're already in the part that we already loaded that program, but I'm going to do it one more time. Part program, click on part one. And you can see it's already loaded, so we're going to go now to single step. You can see it automatically defaults to the part program that was loaded into the controller. And we're going to say run program. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower all the feed rates down. Um, the, the cutting feed rate I'm going to leave at 100%, you can see that here. The rapid feed rate I'm going to lower down to 10%. And I'm going to single, single step this. And I'm going to go one block at a time. And you can see it asks for the doors to be control. Now it's going to fire up the spindle. Next it's going to move to its X and Y location. Now it's going to move down to Z two inches. Now this is a very important move. Generally in our in the solid cam post processor, we output the tool Z level. This is generally like two inches. This is a this is a number, so you can make sure you're at the right um, the right height for your for your tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Z two, and we're going to notice something here. So we go to Z two, 
Now it's going to go to Z 0.25. Now it's going to go to Z 0.1. And I wanted to show this. So here you can see that the pool is actually not a hundred thou. It's more than a hundred thou. And that is because I first had a shift in here where I dry ran, I dry run the program before. So I'm going to stop the cycle. That's going to stop the machine. And I wanted to show you that because you really want to always pay attention to these first initial Z moves after a tool change. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we're in cycle stop, we're going to go to manual. Let's go move our head, our Z up out of the way. So you can see we're going to move our Z up out of the way. We're now going to go to auxiliary. Um, we do have to get out of this, so we're going to go manual. We are going to go to auxiliary. We are going to go to program manager. We want to close out all of our programs. Close all programs. All programs. Some programs are still in use. And we're going to pause this video.